Hi boys and girls, Ms. Gorman here with week three, packet three math. I'm going to do the other math portion in another video. I'm going to talk about arrays right now. So you guys should be awesome pros at arrays, um, but I'm gonna go over them one more time to show you what the sentence means and how it kind of relates to the picture. So we have here, when you're looking at multiplication sentences, I want you to think about groups of something. So we have three groups of five. That's what three times five really means. So here we have our three groups of five, one, two, three groups of five, and the total number is 15. So over here for three times six, what they did is they moved over the three times five array, and then they added one more group to make it three groups of six. So for this problem here, it is six, groups of five. So you need to draw your six groups of five. So here's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do one up here, six. So using this array, I can solve this problem. So I can count by fives because there's five in each group. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So for this problem, six times six, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another group. So for sake of time, I'm gonna just draw it in red over here on my other array. So I'm gonna draw another group. So right there is six groups of six. So I have six in each group now. So I can count by sixes. So six, 12, 18, 24, 36, 32, and 36. So my answer for this one is 36. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Bye.